What you guys got another video here for you which is the best wi-fi signal to use 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz it's not really what's better and what's superior it's basically each frequency band has different characteristics that make it more suitable for different types of scenarios so let's break it down a little bit to pros and cons so 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi has a longer range uh, wavelengths and what this is going to allow is the 2.4 gigahertz signal uh, will be stronger and it's going to allow it to travel further and penetrate obstacles like your walls your floors and your ceilings it's generally ideal for larger homes and spaces with many physical obstructions like walls it can penetrate those a lot better it has also greater compatibility most wi-fi wireless devices will include older ones that support 2.4 gigahertz bands the cons are they're slower speeds so it transmits data at lower speeds compared to 5 gigahertz also the wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz range has more interference on it because it's heavily used in our homes uh, many devices such as microwaves bluetooth devices gadgets and other cordless phones and things like that will operate on the 2.4 gigahertz band. This causes potential interference and slower speeds. And normally, if you're in a densely populated area, uh, the network can become quite congested and give you slower speeds. So let's quickly talk about 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. The pros are basically faster speeds because it's newer. It offers significantly faster speeds compared to 2.4 gigahertz and of course this is going to be a much faster uh, bandwidth to you so you could basically get faster speeds for your activities like streaming if you're streaming movies or you are doing online gaming via wi-fi why you would be doing that i do not know but some people do and also larger file transfers are a lot more popular over 5 gigahertz so you do get a bit of a boost there there's also less interference and this is because there's going to be fewer devices on the 5 uh, gigahertz band and because you are running 5 gigahertz it's going to have a higher bandwidth which means connecting multiple devices simultaneously will give you higher data rate speeds the cons are the shorter range capabilities of 5 gigahertz. The higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength, meaning 5 gigahertz signals have a shorter effective range than 2.4 gigahertz. And with that less effective range comes less effective penetrating capabilities for walls, ceilings and floors. You're not going to be able to penetrate through obstacles as well as 2.4 gigahertz can so if you're living in an open space area or you're outside 5 gigahertz would be the choice over 2.4 gigahertz but if you're in a highly dense area with lots of walls and ceilings and floors then using 2.4 gigahertz would be the way to go now this is normally restricted with isp routers but if you've got a custom third-party router you can choose the best choice for you and you can also manage your speeds a bit better so each device can have a selected 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz depending on your specific needs for that particular device and this is where having a third party router comes in better than having a isp router remember your older devices older computers might not support 5 gigahertz so you might have to use 2.4 gigahertz speeds with those older devices. Even some old hardware doesn't support 5 gigahertz. So check your hardware. So if you need faster speeds with higher bandwidth activities like gaming and streaming and other things like video calls, then use your 5 gigahertz connection. Most modern day routers are dual band or higher, meaning they can broadcast on both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz simultaneously. This allows you to connect many different devices to uh, that particular router. Uh, for best optimal performance, especially in larger homes, consider a mesh Wi-Fi network. Uh, these are better for giving you constant high speeds all around your home. Uh, rather than just having a router stuck in a corner somewhere, it's best to use that mesh network if you can.
Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. If I ain't responding to your comments, it's because I'm on holiday right now. I'll be back very soon. Anyway, these just quick videos here have been pre-made for you so you don't miss out on any sort of content. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.